Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in. Today's class is all about just a simple beginner practice. When you're new to the practice of yoga, it can feel so overwhelming and daunting if you watch all these videos on YouTube channels and Instagram, like where do I start? So this is a friendly introduction into the whole practice of yoga. Remember when you're starting off, never to judge yourself by the aesthetic shape or form of your body and don't play the compare and contrast game Instead, just tune in to your own body. Remember that the deeper lesson of yoga is all about the spiritual path. When you're ready to begin, we're going to start off in a comfortable cross-legged position. Close your eyes and suck the belly deeply in. Hear and feel the sound of the breath and we'll breathe five times. Inhale, closing your lips, breathing in and out through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, the third breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands gently together. Tune into the inner body for a moment and we'll initiate the journey of yoga with the sacred sound Om. Gently allow the eyes to open, resting the hands on the knees. With as little as five breaths, you can start to turn the mind inward. Inhale, sucking the belly deeply in. Bring your left hand over to the side and raise the right arm up. We'll hold that for a couple breaths. Each time you exhale, go a little deeper to the side, a little deeper in the lateral stretch. Three, four, and dropping the elbow down if you can, twist over for a moment. Inhale all the way back to the center. We'll go over to the other side. Inhale, sucking the belly in. Reach the right hand over and extend the left arm. Each inhalation creates space between the ribs and the hips. Each exhale, walk the hand a little bit more out. Slowly twist it over. Suck your belly in for a moment and then inhale. Back up to the center. Hold it here for just a moment. Calmly move on to your hands and knees. Around your back for a moment for the hands and knees plank and let's hold this for five. One, nice steady breathing. Two, three, four, and five. Move back to child's pose for a moment. Softening through the hip joints while sucking the belly in. Inhale back up to the hands and knees plank for a moment. Big push up with the arms. One, two, three, just easy calming the mind. Four, getting a little strength, blood and circulation moving through the body. And five, from here, extend your right arm and your left leg and then pick those both up for five breaths. One, Nice and steady, tune in to the inner body, sucking the belly in, two, three, four, and five. Place that down and we're gonna do the other side. Right hand and the left leg, one, two, keep the belly sucking in and really reach, three, <laughs> four, and five, bring it back down. Hold the hands and knees plank for a moment. And from here, we're gonna take it back to the plank pose. So tuck the tailbone under, suck the belly in, bring your feet together, curl the toes under and inhale. Come on up to the plank. One, nice and steady. Two, squeeze the thighs a little towards each other. Three, four, and five, gently place the knees down, move your chest forward and let's come down onto the belly. 
We'll hold this position for a moment with the floor support. We're in the shape of the push-up position known as Chaturanga Dandasana. Pull the ribs in, press from the shoulders for a moment and hold that nice and steady. Then slowly lift the chest, moving your elbows forward and we'll come up to the Sphinx pose, pointing your feet, lifting your sternum up and forward. We'll hold this for five. One, keep the belly sucking in. Two, three, four, and five. Draw the ribs back in, walk your hands back, bend through the knees and we'll press all the way back to our first downward facing dog. Keeping the belly drawn in, downward facing dog is a fundamental pose in the whole yoga practice. You'll find your center, the spine drapes out of the bowl of the pelvis. Two, keep the legs engaged, pivoting through the hip joints spiraling the shoulders open, three, four, and five. Switch the gaze forward, step your right foot forward, planting the left knee down, point your left toes and just hug that right knee into your chest for a moment, one, you can twist a little from the spine, keeping the hip in a nice deep flexion, three, four, and back to the center. Hold it here for a moment. Hands in prayer. One, two, stabilize with your pelvic floor. Keep the mind in the context of the body. Three, keep your mind steady and calm. Four, and five, bring the arms up. One, gaze at the thumbs. Two, three, four, and hands back to the prayer position. Move your hands to the ground, curl the left toes under and let's step right back to the plank pose. Hold the plank pose for a moment, place the knees down, bring the chest forward, lying all the way down. Hold it here for a moment, come up onto the elbows. Inhale, lift the sternum up and forward. And again, we'll hold that sphinx pose, lift your kneecaps and point the toes just for a moment this time. We're gonna add in one more little level of detail. If you guys are feeling a little stressed at the sphinx pose, stay right there. If you reached your limit, if possible, inhale, we'll come all the way into upward facing dog. Hold upward facing dog for a moment, then you can place your knees down if you need to, but if possible, curl your toes right under, press back to downward facing dog. Bring the feet hips width apart, press through the hands and we'll hold that for a couple breaths. One, equalizing inhalation and exhalation, two, three, four. When you resonate the breath, you're able to control the breath just a little bit more. And five, looking forward, step the left foot forward, right knee down. And this time we're gonna just easy reach down, hugging that left knee into your chest. And you could gaze over to the back. And we'll hold that for a couple breaths. Plant that right hip closer and closer to the ground. Three, four, and bringing it back to the center. Pause for a moment, belly sucks deeply in. Hands come into prayer, one. You might notice that one hip, particularly around here, is a little bit tighter. My right hip is a little tighter. This muscle is what we're targeting. Now you never want to feel any pain in the joint, but when the muscle stretches, you should look for a lengthening, an almost burning sensation, but nothing too severe. Inhale, raise the hands above the head, gaze in at the thumbs, one. Two, three, four, and five. Exhale, taking the hands down, curl your right toes under and press from the shoulders. Come on back to the plank pose. This time from the plank pose, we're gonna try to enter Chaturanga Dandasana. So instead of putting your knees down, exhale. See if you can go down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Come right forward to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, place your knees on the ground and open the knees, sinking yourself gently down. One, two, you could tuck your head in if you want to, or keep the head lifted. Four, 
and five. Coming on to the elbows, gently moving yourself back into the dolphin plank. One, two, three, keeping the belly sucked in, four, and five. Placing the knees down for a moment, give the shoulders a break, child's pose. Nice deep inhale, nice deep exhale. Come on forward again, placing those elbows down to the dolphin plank, and we're gonna take it over to a side plank, which is a really wonderful tool for steadying the mind and helping you feel the center line. So here we go. Pop the hips gently back, and then move over onto the right side plank. Switching the gaze over to the left, and we'll hold that for five. One, two, this might be a little hard, so yoga always includes a little bit of a challenge. Three, four, and five. Don't be afraid of the challenge. Let's go over to the other side. And one, belly sucks in. Don't let yourself sag down. Two, three, four. Back to the center. Holding that dolphin plank again for a moment. Okay, place the knees down. Exhale, child's pose. A few breaths. Nice deep inhale, nice deep exhale. Curl your toes underneath you and come all the way forward to what's called Dandasana position. Take a moment, aligning the spine forward, the belly sucks in, hands next to the hips, chin down. One, two, tune the mind inward. Remember yoga is a calm and equanimous inner focus. Three, Four, never judge your body, make peace with your body. When you look down, cultivate an attitude of loving what you see, of seeing beauty within the context of your body. Four, and five, bend the right knee all the way in, drop it out to the side, bring the heel into the groin for the Janushasana pose. Roll the chest forward so your chest aligns with your left knee, and then gently walk forward. Some of you may be able to grab hold of your left big toe, or, or of your left foot rather, and if possible, you can interlock the fingers around the foot, or if you're very flexible, one day you'll be able to hold onto your wrist, but no stress. Inhale, sucking the belly in from wherever you are. Exhale, just fold a little bit too. Eventually, you'll fold all the way down, but no stress for today. Three, four, Keep the belly sucked in, and five. Inhale, straighten the arms, gently walk yourself back. Inhale, bring the right knee in, stretching it out. Let's do the other side. Pull the left knee in, dropping it over, heel all the way in, turning your chest forward. Now remember, from wherever you are, you're cultivating an attitude of peace and love and acceptance with your body. Don't judge your body or try to force it. If this is as far as you get, no problem. Sucking the belly in, reach a little forward, holding on to the foot. Maybe the wrist if you can. Inhale and exhale, fold. The belly is deeply in. One, do the inner work of the pose. Let the inner work be your primary focus. Three, four, and five. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, slowly bring yourself back in. Bend through the right knee and bringing the knees together. Hold the knees into the chest for a moment and balance here. Steady, two, three, four. Now release your hands, one, two, three, four. Slowly bring the legs a little bit more forward, two. You could choose to stop here, but if it's possible for you, engage your abdominal muscles and straighten the legs. One, two, three, four, and five. Cross your feet underneath you. Come forward, stepping all the way back to the plank pose. Hold yourself in plank for a moment. Exhale, down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come forward to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Again, walk the feet forward, right foot and then the left foot. Slowly roll the spine gently down. Stretching out your left leg, right knee into the chest. Easy reclining twist over to the side. Close your eyes for a moment. One, 
soften through the inner body. Two, three, four, and five. Back to the center, right knee in, left leg into your chest, switch over to the side. One, two, three, four, and five. Gently bring it back in, stretch your legs out and close your eyes for a few moments. Nice deep breath in, tuning into the inner body. Allow a sense of peace and relaxation to roll through your whole body, finding a state of inner calm, deep resolution with yourself. Allow yourself a few moments to feel totally at home, comfortable in your own skin. Then gently bend through the knees and the elbows, pause for a moment with the knees together, let your sacrum rest on the ground. Pull the knees into your chest, roll over onto your right side. Slowly come up, starting with the hips, rolling the chest all the way back up. Now, not every yoga session needs to hit it really hard. Remember, this is an inner journey. I have an assignment for you today, a little takeaway. For a moment, we'll close the eyes, tune into the body. Today's practice was the beginning of a journey of self-discovery, and that journey of self-discovery is a journey of self-love and self-acceptance. So find for a moment in your mind at least one part of your body that you love. It might be your smile, your laugh, your fingers, your toes, your hips, your chest, your shoulders, your belly or your back, your hair, your eyes, whatever it is. Just for a moment, celebrate your body. See your beauty for a moment. Just hold that inside. Let it fill you up. Let a little celebration happen when you just celebrate your body. Letting that resolution of being exactly who you are set you free. Gently bring your hands together. Inhale. Exhale the sound OM. Thank you so much for letting me be your guide in the inner tradition of yoga. Namaste.